This is going to be another information packed session with a lot of ideas, concepts for you to be successful in crypto. Yes, top 10 rules for you to follow inside crypto world. So if you are in the crypto world, now rule one, it's a game, but a manipulated game. Before you go on to all these rules, step by step, you need to first remember there is a general rule for all type of investing, which kind of goes even deeper for the crypto world, which is the general rule. Always be a learning machine. What does that mean? You need to be eager to learn more. Study how the money works. Because if you don't understand how the money system works, some of these rules are going to be hard to follow. You'll have to start from zero, study that and then reach. Next one, study how the investment world works. Because we have not been taught about that system from schools, it's going to be hard. So take that basics and then jump in. Now, this is for you to be successful in the world of crypto. So rule one, it's a game, it's a manipulated game. Whales, the big guys in the crypto industry, now in most of the countries, it's not regulated. Fine, there are basic regulations, but not in all the exchanges. People get to go to the other side of this way they don't understand about that game for example yes you do have a price that's a market price i agree but in your exchange there is a price you sell on an exchange you buy on an exchange fine so you are handling that price even though sometimes you can see some exchange the price of an asset is higher or lower compared to the general market that's fluctuation inside that exchange. So if you are in a whale on that particular exchange, you can do that. Now, if you are an ethical whale, you'll go OTC, fine? So how to play this game? Just don't participate in the manipulation part. You can play the game, but don't just enter there. How can you do that? Buy, hold, but what asset to buy? When to buy? You know, there's a lot of criteria to be set, right? Next one. Don't be a maxi. What does that actually mean? If you believe in Bitcoin, if you believe in Ether, don't just say that's the only project which is going to succeed because this is a market with 20,000 assets. Even if 10% of that succeeds, you have thousands of assets winning the game. Even if it is 1%, you have hundreds of assets winning because this is not just going to be one asset. In this entire asset class, you're going to get commodities in this asset class. You're gonna actually get exchange tokens. Like in the last video, we discussed through that payment tokens, exchange tokens, smart coins, you know, the smart contracts. All of these are gonna come work closely because they are all going to be on the interoperable layers. Now, double your holdings. This is where a lot of people have hard time because it also goes with the rule four, rule five, it actually ties in. Okay, what do I mean by that? See, timing is the hardest part in any type of investment and especially in crypto. Why is that? The manipulation here, impact here. Why? Because even if the trend line is going up, you know it's going to be volatile, but the volatility here in crypto is so high. Imagine XRP is at $2. It's gonna go down, fine. You think like, okay, there can be a 50% correction or a 60% correction. We're coming back to 0 0.7, 0 0.8. And you start buying at a dollar, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7. Where are we now? 0 0.3. Why? That's the manipulation. The price is being stretched, extended too much to the downside when it actually goes down by pushing the fear in. So how can you double that? You buy initially. Now, don't just buy every now and then when you have money because that goes into positioning why right? you need to double your holdings but to double your holdings you need to follow this yeah you are buying more you're buying more but your dollar cost averaging you don't buy at a higher price when the price is going higher you wait to see whether the market drops mostly the market drops and if you can enter into the market 
after a drop of 50, 60 percentage, that allows you to dollar cost average. You are now buying more number of units at a lower price. Great. Next part, patience on your positions. You bought a position, the price went down. Now, if you, even if you don't have money to put in, what you need is patience for that to come back up and to be in profit. Now, if you are an investor, you try to find cash flow and buy it at a lower price when it is lower and be patient as it goes back up. So positioning in the market. Now, different types of positioning is like you can buy more number of assets or you can buy more number of units. Say you are a payments guy. You look at XRP, XLM, HBAR, XDC like this. These are payment tokens. Either you can increase your number of holdings in one asset or all of these. Or you can be positioned well in payments, smart contracts. You know, you can be in different layers. Intraoperability, you have like, you know, Palkadot, others where you can extend your legs. But don't be spread too thin. Often I see people going like, you know, $500, $1,000 on a lot of different assets and they don't actually get that upside. Now we'll go through that. Now, rule number five, dry powder, 15 to 25 percentage. In using the word dry powder, I mean cash. Hold dry cash, which is liquid for you to move. Now, if it's in metals where it's like e-metal, say e-gold, e-silver, where you have the ability to close it, move it, that's okay. But even at that point, on a Saturday, on a Sunday, the market is closed, you won't be able to do that. So if you're expecting a crash on a Friday, close it, have that 15, 25 percentage of dry powder. Because you or me, no one knows when the market is going to drop. That is a certain stuff. Because if you can predict that, like the market is going to drop 50 percentage in the next three weeks, oh, you would be super rich by now, right? You are a trillionaire, but that doesn't happen because market is with a lot of participants. It's not one, two, or three, it's millions of people. So five percentage of people around the world are right now in crypto, that itself is a big market. Now, you're gonna get more people coming in, the adoption will grow, I agree. But once you have the dry powder, you can position yourself well, you can double your holdings perfectly, and that dollar cost averaging works fine. And if you don't have dry powder, now you're trying to sell something to buy something else. And maybe, even though you think that it's not fundamental asset, the market may push it up because, you know, as we talked in yesterday's uh, video, the market choose different assets, the mem coins blast through. You don't get an idea of why that's going up, but yeah, that do happen. Next, rule number six, money management, your expense. If you need dry powder, you need to manage this because even if you manage to have 15 to 25 percentage of dry powder and then there comes a new release of an iPhone, a MacBook or if you are rich then Lamborghini or anything. If you are going behind that flexing in front of your peers, done. Now you don't have dry powder and the market drops. We see a lot of people going to sell their luxury cars, their luxury stuffs to buy back into this asset. Now those are depreciating assets for one. So you buy them for 250,000, 500,000 or thousand dollars. Then you go back to buy this by selling that. You sell that at a loss. Now it's a depreciating asset. You spend your cash. Inflation already pushed the price of all the other assets up and this dropped. So you lose on both end. You don't want that. Now, rule seven. Now this is super important. Now I see this across the board. Now, even I had the same mentality when I started investing. World war mentality. And then the comparison. Now first, we look at the world war mentality. What does that actually mean, world war mentality? Don't say like, okay, tomorrow the world is going to end. We are gonna have a war, there's not going to be electricity, there's not going to be internet. Okay, if we really have world war, and you know, the world is going to end, it doesn't actually matter how much money you have because most likely you may not be able to utilize all of those. It will be illiquid in different banks and different exchanges, right? So let's keep that stuff away. One. Second, never compare yourself with someone else who's in the game from last five years, last 10 years. If you're entering into this game, you don't want to compare yourself to someone who's already running a long way. Imagine 
it's a life is a long run a guy who is a billionaire at 50 you don't have to when you're starting at 20 you don't have to compare yourself with that one you can't compare peanuts with elephant those are different category different size different use case right you don't do that so don't compare yourself and go take extra leverage to push yourself to that height you will eventually reach there but you need to strategize yourself to reach there because to strategize now you need to think properly you need to work properly you need to execute properly because if you're eyeing to become a king in crypto you need to execute a lot of stuff properly and if you follow these 10 rules it kind of gives you an edge over the massive crowd in this next handling leverage i don't say don't use leverage i say use it properly how there is a time you have to go aggressive in this market or any market there is a part of the cycle where you go aggressive if you guys those who follow me on patreon remember i used to leverage back in 2020 when the market dropped crazy now i'm like okay the market dropped 80 90 percentage now it's slowly going back up yeah put it now i don't put x50 x100 those stuff even when i leverage i leverage two or five to the max but most likely i will stop by two times so if i'm buying for two thousand i'll put thousand dollars right i'm not doing that putting 500 and buying for 5000 or 50000 i don't do that that's crazy i don't do that because if you do and in between there is some macroeconomical situation going on and the exchange locks you out price is dropping on the other side you are wiped out understand this at the end they won't lose money because at your margin they will cut you off so you lose your money they get the spread and their money back. So who's the loser? You. Why? Because you didn't know rule eight. You need to understand that. We right now has a situation with Celsius, what's happening now. And personally, I've heard people being locked out of Nexo, you know, and there's a lot of bad stuff happening if you don't own your coins. If you move them into a ledger, imagine like, okay, you are like, say, for example, 100k in if 80 of that is in your ledger you're safe 20 yeah keep it in three or four different exchanges so when it's time to cash out and if one exchange decides okay i'm gonna lock you out you can still go on to another one and cash out you still have that freedom to do that fine next one tax management now we'll say move now this move is not only based on one factor in your life if you are a single guy, you can do that. You look at a country where there is no tax and you move there. A lot of people are doing that. But if you have a family, if you have children, now a lot of things are tied up with it. Their education, their future. And if you are only an investor, okay, you still have some freedom to start something. But if you are having that spirit of entrepreneurship, you are going to be an entrepreneur. You now need to look at, okay, which will be that country which gives me more open market to compete with because the marketplace always value you if you are ready to out strategize and out work when others work at 8 a.m 7 a.m if you can work at 3 and 4 and outwork them they don't stand a chance in three years from now in five years from now you need patience that doesn't happen overnight but you need to show up every day even if it's a bad day you need to show up fine next Rule 10. Now this is the most important of all of this. Be top loaded. Don't spread yourself too thin. I've seen people owning 700 assets, like $100, $200 in all of them saying, if one goes up, I'm going to make a lot of money. And I'm like, maybe, but you have better chance if you understand instead of that 700, you pick seven or even 10, 20 max, and put that cash into these 20. Because always, now this is science, right? This is science. This is something you should never forget. This is the 80-20 rule, right? 20% of the people make 80% of the money. 20% of the assets produce 80% of the outcome. That's Pareto's law. If you know that, in everything it's like that. 20% of the students make 80% of the marks. 
20% of the rank holders, make that 80% of the university is big. So all these stuff, so the other side is true. 80% of the people only make 20% of money. So if you want to be on the other side, understand which of these are going to win. So you go look at what you're investing in, how you're investing in, and the investment strategy itself. I'll actually link that video here if you want a detailed idea of what you should be looking at when you're going on in an asset. Write that, it's here. If you want to follow that, you can go there now. Coming back to conclude this one, you have different rules and most of them are interconnected. So if you're like, okay, I can't obey these two, or most likely you can't go through all of this. Now, there will be a lot of rules which you can make yourself, but these are like the strict ones which you shouldn't be going out because this is a manipulated game. You see 90% drop and then 100x in some assets. We have seen that in the last cycle. If you look at CA coin chart, you will see that 80, 85% drop and then going 100x. So this really is a manipulated game of psychology. So you definitely need to have strong mindset and you need to be a learning machine because if you are learning well and you are aware of this situation, no one can kick you out and take that profit. How do they do that? They kick you out by pushing the fear in. You sell, they buy, they hold, they make the money. That's why those 20 percentages, they make 80% of the money. If you actually want to be in that 20 percentage, try to learn on a regular basis and follow this because just learning will never give you the result which you want. In the way to success, take this. Execution is the most important stuff. You learn stuff, but if you won't execute it, it's not going to be fruitful. If you want to make that, start executing today. Guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. That supports the channel. Now, you want to learn further, then continue on to this particular video, which actually gives you more narrative about crypto market, about understanding and how many millionaires are going to come out and how they are going to come out. Or else you want a general market update, you can go to this particular video. So guys, that's it for today. Bye-bye.